Hi guys, welcome to The V Word with me, Victoria Henrietta. Today I am giving you my very first instalment of Woman Crush Wednesday, hashtag WCW. I think it's important that we look at inspirational, influential women so that we can bring them to the forefront and they can be celebrated for the inspirational people that they are. So my first Woman Crush Wednesday is Doja Cat. Doja Cat's full name is Amala Zandil Dalamini. And Doja, if you're watching, I'm sorry if I've said it wrong. She is 23 years old and lives in Los Angeles. Now, if you haven't heard of Doja Cat before, you need to get to hear about her because she's super cool. She's really funky, she's got a great style and obviously a talented singer and rapper. It was in 2014 that Doja Cat signed with RCA Records. It was then that she released her EP, Purr, with songs like Go To Town, So High and Tia Tamara. And if you remember Sister Sister, you'll understand the name Tia Tamara. Despite signing with RCA Records in 2014, it wasn't until 2018 that she actually started to blow up. She released an online music video for a song called Moo. Now, if you haven't heard the song, you haven't seen the video, you really do need to check it out. If you have seen it, then comment below and let me know what you think of the video. For me personally, I loved it. It's really quirky, really out there. She looks amazing. There's a whole lot of booty. She's got milk tash throughout and fries up her nose. Cows in the background. She even goes as far to have a cow with a wig on. It's wig sort of flowing in the wind. The video is hilarious, which is why it went viral. One thing I love about Doja Cat is that she doesn't take herself too seriously. If you were to look at other artists in her kind of niche, I don't think you would see them with fries up their nose taking the mick out of themselves on screen. So big up to Doja Cat for being so fun and being able to take the mick out of herself and not taking herself too seriously. So Doja Cat released her album Amala in 2018 and in 2019 she re-released it as a deluxe version with some additional songs on there. Now the album is really nice, it's a, a mix of like R&B, neo soul, rock, it's really really quirky and really really different but it has that signature Doja Cat voice on there. Her voice is really silky but it's also unique, you don't see anyone else or haven't heard anyone else with that voice in the industry. Just recently actually, in August 2019, that she released a remix of Juicy with Tiger. It's really cool, the video is amazing. She's dressed up as different fruit, looking really cool. At one point in the video, she's even chopped in half as a watermelon. It's a really fun video, so if you get a chance, check it out. I think it's really important for young black women to have a strong presence in the industry. So she's a young mixed race woman, which is a reason why I like her so much as well, because I think at 23, for me, there were times in my life where I struggled with my identity and identifying with my black side and my white side, but Doja Cat is perfectly mixed race. She loves her style, she loves who she is, she's very open about her background, about moving around a lot when she was younger, about her influences musically. Doja Cat is sex and body positive, which I think is really important. We live in a society where, you know, we shouldn't really talk about sex and we shouldn't really show off our bodies, but actually, who's to say that we shouldn't? And Doja Cat goes against everything that is the norm and just does what she wants. And I rate her for that because she always looks amazing and she's always positive. And actually, I think young people need to know that it's okay to love your body. And if you want to show your body off, then no one should tell you any different. You shouldn't feel bad for wearing a low cut top or wearing a short skirt as a woman in our modern age. Now, if you watch any of Doja Cat's videos on YouTube or on her Instagram or her music videos, you'll see that she has a very unique style. It's very busy, it's very bright, it's very colorful, very bold. And that's one thing I love about her. She's very quirky and individual. And if you were to see her walking down the street, you'd straight away say, okay, that's Doja Cat, I can tell. She's got a different colored hair today, or you know, she's wearing a really different outfit, something really edgy, something that you've probably never seen before. And I think it takes a lot of balls to pull off those types of outfit. She's always changing her hair, she's always changing her makeup always new, fresh, upbeat, lively, bold, and I really like that about Doja. I wanted to give you my top three songs of Doja Cat. Now, these are in no particular order, because I like them all, but Juicy is one of them, So High, and No Police. And No Police is actually the song that got me into Doja Cat. I heard it and I loved it, and from then on I started following her music. So please do check out her videos, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out The V Word and watching my instalment of Woman Crush Wednesday. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. And guys, thank you so much for watching.